Tonight, hundreds gathered to pray and mourn after learning a missing Central Florida girl has been found dead. I hope Maddie in a better place. No, because if there is a moment that there's anyone that needs God, it's our young people. Well, you don't want to believe this happened to a little kid, um, especially in a community like this. Such a heartbreaking end to that week-long search for Madeline Soto. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Ginger Gadsden is off just after 6 tonight. Sky 6 flew over the scene where her remains were found in Osceola County. Her body was found in a rural part of St. Cloud close to U.S. 192 off Hickory Tree Road near Pearl Lake. We have team coverage tonight. Brian Didlake is at the community prayer service in Hunters Creek, but our team coverage begins with Troy Campbell. He's in Osceola County tonight. Several days of searching has ended here along Hickory Tree Road in St. Cloud. Investigators say they found the body of Maddie Soto. We watched as law enforcement kept people away from this secluded area of Osceola County. We sent our units out here and we did discover what appears to be a body. Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez standing near the scene where Orange County investigators say they found the body of 13 year old Maddie Soto. Maddie was reported missing by her mother on Monday after the girl never showed up to Hunters Creek Middle School. Our detectives have determined that Madeline was never dropped off on the morning of February 26 near her school. Two days later, her mother's boyfriend, 37 year old Stephen Stearns, was arrested after investigators say they found graphic images of him sexually assaulting a child inside the family's Kissimmee home. Orange County Sheriff John Mina says the girl's backpack was found near an apartment complex on Thursday. We have evidence that shows Stephen Stearns returning to the complex and Madeline was visible in that vehicle. We believe she was already dead. Mina says investigators then broke the news to the little girl's family. They had to tell her the very devastating news that although we have not found Madeline, uh, we are now confident that she is dead. Then later Friday afternoon, investigators confirming they found a body they believe to be Maddie's. Missing flyers had lined the area near her school. Sheriff Lopez says it's not the outcome investigators had hoped for. We're waiting for the forensics units to do their uh, investigation and make sure that they secure this crime scene very, very thoroughly. Prior to discovering her body, Kissimmee police said that they are charging Stearns with capital sexual assault, which is punishable by death. We do expect that charge to be upgraded to murder. In Osceola County, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.